Okay, so today's lab is going to be very similar to the one we did last week where we had the person on the bike moving at a constant speed and we looked at the connection between speed and time. However, this time our object will not be moving at a constant speed. They will be accelerating. So they are going to start out at rest at the first umbrella. Their electric bike will then start powering up the motor and accelerating them toward top speed. They will not hit top speed before they reach the second umbrella. So they will be accelerating for this entire trip. The relationship that you're going to find is not going to be one that you're going to expect. This kind of motion is not really familiar to you in the detail that you would need to guess the results of this lab. So let's get started. So you're going to start out, he's already at the starting line, the first umbrella, he is at rest, it tells you the distance, note that each of these lines are worth 2 meters, so this is a little more than uh, 6, maybe like 6.2 or 6.3, estimate the best you can, by doing multiple trials we should have any misestimations kind of... Um, cancel out. Okay, then when you're ready, start the motion. Get ready to stop the timer. As soon as he reaches the second umbrella, you're going to stop the timer. Things are going to go really quick, so be ready. If you're not happy with your result for that time, or you just want to check it, run it again. It's only a few seconds. Start the motion. Watch the bike carefully. Stop the bike. You'll see I got a similar but slightly different time and if you'd like take an average of the two and use that as your time for this setting. When you're done stop the motion, change the distance between the umbrellas and cycle through a few different settings. Try to have some that are so close that you can actually see the two umbrellas and then try to have some that are medium and of course have some that are kinda long. There will be 10 settings, so realize once you hit setting 10, when you click again, you'll go back to the beginning. When you are done, you're going to graph your data. You are in charge of distance, so that is the variable that we control. When you're done all your trials, you're going to hit finished. You're going to put your name. You're going to put the graph constant that you got. The graph constant should be correct if you graph properly. So you're doing time in seconds versus distance in meters for the accelerating bike. Once you are done with your graph and you have an equation, it will then randomly generate for you a distance. You're to use your equation to predict how much time it would have taken to accelerate through this much distance. Best of luck, and if you have any questions, let me know via email.